What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we kind of want to get personal with you all, so we asked Twitter to give us some ideas on the hashtag my first time stories. So here we go. So Mia asked us to explain the first time stage kissing a fan, and I think this was probably a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years. Almost two years ago. Almost two years ago on the Dream Big Tour was our first ever tour, and we stage kissed everyone. Everyone. But we didn't even know how to stage kiss. So like we had to have fans like teach us how to do it and they did it on us and then we ended up having to do it to everybody else. And you can what? just imagine how that went because they did it on us. So just it got interesting. It got pretty interesting. Emily says my first time asking a girl out. Still haven't done that yet. Ever? My first time asking a girl out was in the seventh grade, so I don't know if you count this. So in my experience, it was about five seconds. Walked up to the girl after class, and I was like, so, you wanna go out? Go out with me. And then she's like, yep, and I'm like, all right, good talk. And then I left. <laughs> That's it? I didn't talk to her afterwards, and I never spoke to her again until You're just I like, up. You wanna go out? <laughs> yep, just like, <laughs> bog, Bob. I don't know if I said that right. Says, my first time to take a selfie and upload it on Instagram. All right, so this is kind of a funny story. The day that we both made Instagrams, we did not know how to take a selfie. So in my basement for about four and a half hours, we sat there giving each other instructions on how to take selfies and edit and filter. I think- oh, They I were think so bad too. They were so bad. They're both still on our Instagrams, which are right here, right here. So go check that out, it's hilarious. Yeah, I remember just like standing in front of like your window and like trying to figure out how to smile. Do you remember yeah, that? I was, like, like, I was like, how do I smile? Like dude, like the corners up. Yeah. The first time we came up with Samantha and Colleen, so this was also like a year and a half ago, it's a long time ago. Uh, we needed girls for our skits. I think I just gave you like 20 bucks and you got a blonde wig. Yeah. And then, but then I remember after like, I think it was 75k? No, or it was 25k. 25k. After 25k on Vine, we were like, let's introduce these new characters. So yeah, Samantha and Colleen are going to be sticking around for a long time. They've been with us basically the whole journey. So Brittany asks, my first time uh, having the talk with your parents. Okay, so this was really awkward for me. So I heard about the talk from my friend Billy at the time, and I was like, Holy crap, that is insane. <laughs> so I went home and I immediately asked my parents. I was the one that like brought it up to them. They didn't say anything. They were just like awkward about it. And they gave me a book and told me to go in my room for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and that was about it. And then I was like scarred for the next week. I was like, oh my God. Dude, the same thing happened to me though. My parents were like, nope, not gonna really talk to you about it. This like <laughs> book showed up in my house it was on my bed, and it just said, read this. And I was like, what? That's that's the talk nowadays? Like, they're too scared to they're be They're too scared to be like, hey, let me tell you about the birds and the bees. Brianna asks about my first time getting into a car accident. So, crazy as it seems, both of our stories are the exact same time. Because... He was driving. I was driving. <laughs> And it was on spring break about three years ago. It was sleeting. And I was really pissed off because my friend Nate, I don't know what Nate said, but I remember being mad at something Nate had said. And I was like driving really angrily. And we were listening to the song Break by uh, Three Days of Grace. Oh, I remember. That song scares me. Yeah, no, every time it comes on, I think of that crash. And then, so, we're coming down, going to my house, and right before you get to my house, there's a big curb uh, that you go like that, and I was like, all right, cool, I'm gonna take this. And I was just like angry, and we're going 45 miles an hour, and I spun around, and I just went straight up into my neighbor's yard, and we slammed into a tree. <laughs> and I flew out the windshield and was in a coma for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. No, but in all honesty, uh, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, so I ended up in the back seat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody was hurt. The airbags went off. I swooped him. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, but he was like really cool about it. He was like, oh god, we're about to crash. So he like braces himself. He like gets ready. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what? It was just like, oh god. And you know what the funniest part is? So my mom watches my YouTube videos. And 
Never? I never told her about this. <laughs> Sorry, I was Mrs. Like... Brock. <laughs> Salam asks about my first time that you had a crush on someone you shouldn't have. Like a teacher or someone's parent. So funny story, I used to ride the bus. And one of my friends, who I'm not going to be na like naming today, I, I was like the stop right before this kid. And this lady uh, was standing next to my friend every day at the bus stop and would like tell him to go to school. And I thought that she was like a babysitter. Because I was like, she's young, she's like hot. I had this massive crush on this guy, uh, on this, this woman. And I was like, so who is that? That can't be your mom. That must be like a babysitter. She's like, that's my mom. And I was like, I'm not gonna say anything, but holy crap, your mom's hot. All right, guys, if you wanna hear more stories, we have a part two on our email list. So all you have to do is click the link right below and sign up, and you'll get another video. Do it. Either way, we hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next week. So adios. Peace out.